One of those states includes Kentucky, where people there recovering after severe storms hit the state during Memorial Day weekend. Several storms touched down, resulting in fatalities and major damage. Governor Andy Bashir confirmed during a press conference on Monday that four people have died and one person is fighting for their life due to the storms. The governor announced, uh, also announced that he declared a state of emergency for the Commonwealth and says that the Kentucky National Guard will be helping impacted residents. In Alabama, one person is dead after severe weather hit central Alabama yesterday. An early morning thunderstorm brought down a tree on a townhouse in Mountain Brook, a suburb of Birmingham. Mountain Brook Fire and Rescue confirmed one person was killed there. Cleanup efforts are underway in other parts of the state where crews are clearing down trees and other debris. There's no word at this point whether the damage was the result of a tornado or straight line winds. And in Arkansas, the National Weather Service says a preliminary EF2 tornado struck Paragold on Sunday. Paragold is at least 150 miles northeast of Little Rock. Local authorities are asking residents to stay indoors while cleanup efforts are underway. The storm knocked down power lines and trees in areas, including near a local golf club. So far, there's been no word on if there were any injuries in Paragold. And of course, we want to get over to Ed Green for a check of our weather here in Colorado. Of course, yeah, as you see right behind you, a very active May. Yeah, it has been an active May. You're just talking about all that severe weather. Take a look at this. Very active May. We have had 1,136 severe weather reports just over the three-day holiday weekend, believe it or not. That includes hail, wind, and tornadoes. But for the month so far, 5,700 reports of severe weather for the month, and that makes it the second busiest May since May 2, 2011, when they had almost 7,000 severe uh, reports. So we've had a lot of severe weather around here. We may see a severe storm or two in eastern Colorado and maybe Denver for tomorrow.